of time have not suppressed the spirit of the conquering hero Genghis Khan. His reign in the 12th century launched the great Khan dynasty. Years later, Jahangir begged his father to take him on court. When the club was closed, and in temperatures approaching 50 degrees Celsius, he practiced for hours against the outside walls of the club. Roshan saw in his son the potential of a great player. Match point. Oh, there it is. We have a new world champion. Because if he was here, uh, he's fortunate that he is a national asset. We think he's capable of becoming a world champion. And you, I think, agree too that within three years, uh, though he's very, very young, but I think in three years he should be able to beat. So if you take him, the responsibility to the nation is yours. What did you do, I slipped in the sweat. Yeah? Yeah, I was trying to a drop shot. Well, I think he's jammed two of the lumbar spinal joints, and he's in total spasm there. Oh, what would you suggest? I mean, he's got to play tomorrow. He's seated one for the British amateur. Uh, well, I'll give him a second treatment today, and I'll make a decision then, but I believe he will not be fit. Kamarzaman was a wizard with a squash racket, and the world's number two. He was the main target for the young Khan. Match ball again for Jahangir Khan. Well done, boy. Thank you. The next target is British Open, and you will work even harder. Go! Push, push! Life in the professional ranks was proving hard, and he lost several times, but at the expense of the world's push, best. Push, push! Come on, come on, come on, fight! That's a good one. You are young, right? But you, you, but now you should try and work more and more and try and win nine times. There it is. 